Today, I link with this that I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today, I was bored and I had time. So he texts me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best oysters in Atlanta, like, hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. It's so good. Two hours later. Y'all, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a f I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat. So after that, I'm like, what's next? What am I about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. in the crab cakes. Few moments later. Why the f this bitch ass say like he going to the bathroom and never come back? Sensational. I'm like, hold the f on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes. Bitch. What the f this nigga ate? Had to end up grabbing a tab. He left me with his little one fucking drink. I'm so glad bitch keep me some money because what? That was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He talking about some, I'm offering you to drink. What the f are you talking about, bitch? What the fuck are you talking about, you greedy little pig? She ordered 48 oysters. This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. And then she's actually got the nerve to ask what's next. And the reason why she's doing this is because she's got no respect for him. She thinks she's better than him. And this is what happens when you put a woman on a pedestal and you text her away. She thinks she can come out and make you the free meal guy. This guy luckily was not having any of it and he dipped, as you should. Who came over here to ask me if I'm cooking onions? Okay. Really? Because I'm smelling it in my house. Maybe you need to try a stronger deodorant. Nothing to be ashamed about. Yeah. Babe, I want you to pronounce these words, yeah? All right, come on. What? First one? Oh, pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Onomatopoeia. Brilliant. Look mm -hmm. at this one. Shh, shh, go on, shh. go on, come on. From the gut. Come on. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll try this. Pythagoras theorem. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Come on, babe. You can. Go. It's phonetical. Uh, come on. Uh, c c come. All right, all right, uh. we'll try this. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. This is what I'm saying, man. It's facts! It's facts! This is in our facts. This is in our facts. Tonight I won Miss Philippines USA, second runner-up, Miss Congeniality, and... Okay, that's just a lie. She went from Miss Philippines to OnlyFans. It's an evil world we live in. It's money and attention that makes these girls do OnlyFans. If they were getting as much money and attention being Miss Philippines, then they'd do it. Stop wearing baggy clothes. They make you look homeless. The loot. I agree, you know, this is why we get bitches, for real. I'd rather look classy than homeless. <laughs> for real, I did What y'all know about this? Y'all don't know what I'm saying. Everybody keeps following trends, but be yourself, bro. Like, look, it's flexible, you see? Like, look, you can be doing this and stuff, bro. <laughs> Join with? ZK Buddy. Oh, Z S1 Buddy. Z Emily and Samantha, stop. Stop trying to call yourself S1 buddy, ZK buddy. Because I know you man the little girls that go prime and can try to steal one pound earrings and get caught. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Does a woman provide children for every man she dates? No. So until that woman is having that man's kids, why does he need to provide anything? Because if he wants the perks of being in a relationship where she has options, she doesn't have to be with you, she's just choosing to be with you. So basically, her attitude is, is you're lucky to be with her. She's chosen you. She can have whoever she wants, but you're the lucky man. It only usually ends one way for women like this. Cat lady. Oh my God, that is a beautiful black queen. Oh, sorry, right here. Where'd you get this from, bro? Hey, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, bro? You left it in the corner over there. <laughs> you ladies all right? Oh my God. Oh. You alright? Oh! You ladies alright? Yeah. You alright? That was terrifying. Unbelievable game. It's great to watch, but not as good as this guy. So the ultimate reason that 80% of divorces are filed by women is because we are selfish and self-centered. Friendly fire! What's your name? Lightning. No, you actually name. Light. Is there poo in my AirPods? What's your body count? Like, how many people have you had sex with? 
that was that was the first thought that came to mind. It's probably about a thousand. I beg your pardon. Is this the final boss from the street? So whoever's grandma this is, come pick her up because she needs to be stopped. What are you doing? What? What are you? What are you doing? What? What is this? What you mean? What is that? I can't read McKinney when I have a boyfriend and I just to 24 and <laughs> Nah, be freaking for real. Give me my daughter. Give it. Give her to me. I pray every day that I have sons, but if I do ever have a daughter, then I'm definitely gonna do this. That's a great idea. I'm with that. Oh, you crazy! Don't do it, my guy. Don't do it. It's not too late. Or maybe it is and you went through with it. In which case, you might be fucked. 50. 29. When do you expect him to propose to you? <laughs> Yesterday. I drop hints all the time. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Uh. What's three things that you see in him? He's funny. Um, he's really loving when he wants to be. And uh, we laugh a lot. We're like best friends. She forgot the most important one. Here comes the money. Here we go. Do you want to win five pounds? I'll do me more. You just have to make me laugh. You have 15 seconds. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pig. How long have you felt like that? For about a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yours. It's yours. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. My life is always guy platonic. Who's always. the biggest guy you've ever dated? I don't know. I don't really date famous guys at all, or like people that I know. I like to keep it under wraps, secret. Respect. I've never had to with a famous guy in my life. Are you sure about that? Because I wouldn't really say, like, I wouldn't say like Cole's famous. Like he like that's not like, that's not, like the one, but like I. <laughs> they heard you. When she's talking about Cole, she's talking about Cole Bennett, and Cole Bennett's pretty famous. I'm not saying everybody knows him, but quite a few people do. I remember on my 18th birthday, the boy that I was with, he didn't have a job or anything, and I knew he didn't. But he'd convinced me that he could pay for the hotel in London, and then like it came to it on the day, and we were at the train station. He was like, oh, I forgot my card, so I paid for my whole birthday and put myself in debt. What, what, what did you find? He didn't even have a job. So He'd like convinced me that he was going to give me the money. And I was like, yeah, he will, like, obviously. So I bought like, Bester to London, was like 70 pound each to kids. And then we got the hotel. Oh my God, how embarrassing as well, obviously, because he had no money. Oh my God, I'm literally wise. <laughs> I so I bought the train tickets. And then we got to London and I was like, where are you staying in the hotel? And he was like, uh... I'll check in there when we're on his phone, obviously he's such a cheapest hotel. And we've like got a tube all the way to like Greenwich Premier Inn. And like from Marlowe there. Yeah. So we got there and then he was like, I ain't got my cards, so I had to pay for that. And then I was like, we're going oh. out for dinner. Like I'd bought like dress heels, thing oh around for big night out. I was like, no, no, we should get takeaway. Which I paid for, I paid for the whole thing. <gasps> what the actual hell? City boy, city boy. <laughs> Could you ever cheat on me? Absolutely. That's why I don't make dumb decisions like talking to guys one on one or hanging out in like compromising situations. Because I'm a human being, you're a human being, and I, I'm sorry, babe. I don't know if this is hard for you to to hear, but everybody is absolutely <laughs> capable of infidelity in the right slash wrong circumstances. Oh, okay. That's why boundaries are so important. You're never going to see me in a situation, even if people think I might be too strict. I don't care because I'm not taking that chance. Amen. I'm not putting myself in a position to even be close to a position to potentially fall to temptation. I'm gonna keep it 100 because anyone is capable of cheating, but I will not be cheating on you. Excellent, I love that. It's basically admitting that if she was with a man that she was attracted to in a one-on-one -on -one situation, she might not be able to control herself. She'd cheat basically, and whether she does it or she thinks about it or she would. She belongs to the streets.